What will happen to a dangerous dog that had to be removed from one home in Wilton Manors? The owners had been cited repeatedly for their dog's aggressive behavior, and then it was caught on camera attacking a woman and her dog. That dog is now in the custody of animal control, but what will happen to it? Local 10's Terrell Fournay live to tell us what he's learned. Terrell. And right now, nothing is off the table when it comes to the future of this animal that's proven to be aggressive. That dog is in isolation here at this Broward County Animal Shelter, but city code officers uh, and also county workers, they are now trying to determine its next steps. A dangerous dog investigation is underway at Broward County Animal Care centered around this young American Staffordshire Terrier, which is now in quarantine. Since September, Animal Control responded nine previous times to its Wilton Manors home about complaints against the dog named Katia. In fact, two prior attacks involving the same dog landed heavy fines against the dog's owner, one as much as $1,650, which was just settled earlier this month. We've learned the county had just revised its animal ordinance to include Aggressive dogs as those that have killed or severely injured a domestic animal while unprovoked and off the owner's property. That clearly happened Sunday in this video when Maria Zapata and her small dog were mauled after Katia bolted from a backyard. The attack left Maria with a nasty bite wound in her hand and significant injuries on her small pet. Enough for Maria and her husband today to consider pressing charges. Maybe something done to the owners. The, the dog is a product of whatever's, you know, they failed to do so. It's unfortunately that, you know, that any owner is just going to turn around and get another dog and neglect it again. And whether that couple files a formal complaint could help steer Katia's fate. The county's ordinance says any animal impounded by animal control could be returned to its owner or be put up for adoption. It can be released to an approved animal rescue organization or be humanely euthanized. Given the history, the director or designated supervisor at Animal Services would eventually make the final call. But some neighbors in that Wilton Manors community have already made up their mind. I think they should kill it. I think the dog is a threat to human beings and other dogs. And that investigation could last nearly two weeks before we learn a final resolution. The Wilton Managed Police Department, they tell us that they are also involved in coordinating with animal services to render and ensure a safe resolution to this um, very complex situation. We'll keep you updated. Reporting live from Fort Lauderdale, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.